choke, no joke. Yeah. It's choke, no joke. Let's go. Choke, no joke. Chicken choke, no joke. Choke, no joke. Nigga choke, no joke. I know. You know, never was in my head at that time to stop. I was too, still too driven to stop. But the thing that pissed me off about Desert Rose the most was that I just came from that situation of being in a group and I didn't want to be in a group. And I was convinced to be in a group. She didn't put a fucking gun to my neck, but I'm saying this was a thing. I was, she knew my, my, my thoughts and my feelings on it, that how I didn't want to because it doesn't work out. And I, and I was solo before I decided to do Desert Rose. I went from that Poison Ivy shit to being solo and to having managers and just changing up my shit and saying, hey, you know what, let's, let's be a group. All right, I'm down with you, you're down with me. Going to her crib. No one came out to my fucking crib. I just want to say that. With all the groups, I gotta tell you girls, okay? If you guys ever get the chance to see this. Nobody wanted to come to my crib because I live too fucking far out in long motherfucking island. It's a long ass island, you right. But none of y'all want to come out there because it was too far. So there I was, every fucking time, on the train, whatever time, a night, three in the morning, one in the morning, two in the morning, whatever, trooping it out. I'm always trooping it somewhere with a fucking bag, and that's why I became a gypsy. Because every five seconds I got a fucking bag with me with clothes and sacrificing all types of stableness just to, to make some kind of um, some kind of mark in this game. So, all right, I'm trooping it, you know. I'm trooping it to uh, to uptown Manhattan with you know my partner at the time, and here I have a, I have a nice house. You're right. I, I live in the burbs and I have a, it was a decent house. I had my own room. It had little things like that. But I'm sacrificing my having my nice little room, which was small, but it was a nice little room for me to go sleep on somebody else's bed or somebody else's couch, so we can make something happen so we can make this group happen and get this money and get this dream. So, I, you know, that didn't work out. The Mishana thing didn't work out. And it kind of crushed me. It definitely did crush me because now the people that I was down with, it was a situation whether should I get another girl or should I do it alone? And I'm saying to myself, fuck you. Fuck you, 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 anybody, any motherfucking body in my face telling me right now that I can't do it by myself. You don't think I can do it by myself and after what I've been through? Fuck you. If you don't want to be that, then fuck you. And that's what I'm thinking in my brain. I don't think I actually said it. But I know that's what I felt in my brain at the time. I'm looking at people like, because it was the people at, at that establishment at the time, it wasn't everyone saying, hey, you could do it, babe. You go get them. Just you. It was... Now, mind you, this is niggas I've been down with for like two years. So, nah, I don't know, son. I think she should get another girl, you know. I don't think she could really, you know, hold the weight, weight, weight. Hold the motherfucking what, weight? <laughs> yeah, okay. So, I go, and Dot, D-Dot and I had a conversation. D-Dot was like, yo, I believe in you. If you feel that you could do it, you feel that you could do it, then I'm with you. Chi-Chi. Definitely came to me and was like that. You could do it. You could do it. So that between them two niggas right there, we tried to make that shit happen. So crazy. I'm sleeping on the floor with street team night after night. I'm leaving my house. You talk about work ethic. You can't fucking fathom my fucking work ethic and my animalism when it comes to fucking. You cannot fucking break me. I'm leaving. Long Island, mind you, door to door. We talking two hours on a good day. I, ch I think I think one time Derek went on a, a a a train to get to Philly, and I got on a train to get to Long Island, and that shit he got to the door five minutes before I got to mine <laughs> because that that shit every day. And I'm staying, and I'm like, oh my god, to the point. I'm leaving it. I'm so tired from writing every day and so tired of trying to prove myself to niggas and doing freestyle after freestyle after freestyle after freestyle after freestyle. Oh my God, drop after drop after drop. I think I know every DJ in this motherfucking country by now. And 
Derek was a whipper. Derek was a fucking slave driver. But I thank him for it because it, that shit is still in me to this day. I can't stop working. Like, he's embedded this chip in my brain. <laughs> work, 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 work. You're like, but it was good for me. Um, but leaving the studio at 3 a.m. I trained at 3.16 and I miss, like, I'm running to the train and the door closes on me at 3.16 <laughs> in the morning and I have to wait two more hours to 5.13 train. Do you see how I even had the times embedded in my brain? Because this was a fucking journey. And sleeping next to any goddamn, I'll be like, bum, you move over, motherfucker, because I need some goddamn space. I'm fucking tired. And, uh, you know, and, and not just, we're not talking about a year, and we're not talking about two years. We're not talking about three years. We're talking about five years and change deep of a beating. Like, you know, you feel like you, you're doing a bit. You know, like, I did a goddamn bid, motherfucker. Like, I, I can't wait till I get that goddamn award. That's the only thing I want to say. I did my goddamn bid for this shit. Whatever this fucking corny-ass trophy is, I would have thrown it at y'all motherfuckers. Because getting here, that trophy is not enough for my goddamn journey, motherfucker. That shit is, this shit is fucking real times. So, we, we, we plunge and we plunge and we plunge and me and D plunge. And he plunged it out with me. And he thugged it out with me. And, and Bino thugged it out with me. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> you know, certain people in my life definitely, you know, even if it was one or two, you don't need a guy, you don't need 10 people saying, hey, man, you can do it, you can do it, man, you can do it. You don't need 10 people tapping you on your shoulder, but you do need an every now and then occasion tap on the shoulder, like, keep it up, do your thing, don't stop. Choke, no, choke, yeah! It's choke, no, choke, let's go. Choke, no, choke, chicken, choke, no, choke. Choke no joke, nigga choke them joke. I know this industry chick with tough love. Yeah. When I got exclusives, I hit top.